Hello, it's Heather Joshi, and this is the Trompe drawing part two. Um, we're going to get that line drawing and add value texture. Um, so here's uh, the complete drawing, so you know where we're heading. Here's our start, so we got that line drawing next to the collage with flat or small objects and an 11 by 14 sheet of paper. Um, our material, so you could use anything we've learned about in class. So I have pen, I have pencil, I got graphite sticks. I've also added some markers, so um, with various grays. Um, you might want to get various erasers as well. So I got like a Pentel click eraser, standard gum eraser, and a brush to get rid of the shavings or refuse. Start pretty simply. Um, I began by coloring in the darkest elements, so the text and the ticket off to the right, some of the tape that was blue, found like a dark gray or a black was a good stand-in. Um, started adding um, kind of the middle tones or kind of the darker end of the middle tones. Um, and I'll, I'm sure to be like hop around the drawing there, just adding more middle tones. So just kind of blocking in big areas, keeping it simple in the beginning. And for those big basic shapes, I liked using marker because it leaves kind of just a nice even sort of area. Um, you can use watercolor, paint, charcoal, they also work for covering big shapes. For painter's tape or masking tape, I'm just going to show you one of my approaches. So I had a kind of like a dark gray ground and then added black lines with pen on top to get the ridges in that kind of the painter's tape. You might have another method. For the ticket, I started with graphite, but um, I started to blend that graphite with marker. Um, made it feel more kind of like saturated and inky. There's a look at the ticket from afar. Um, and I guess what the graphite does, it kind of provides it, the, um, the ticket had sort of this granular look about it. And here, so I have um, outlined these like paper tabs from the sketchbook. The outline's a little harsh, so what I'm doing is I'm erasing it. Um, so the line kind of comes in and out, and it's more of an implied line rather than like a stark outline. So here I want to focus on some of the overlap. So the to-do list are going over some of those like sketchbook tabs with the holes. Notice it's not really an outline, but it's more of kind of an amorphous shape. So you really can't tell where the edge begins. It's more or almost like a gradient, so it's a little fuzzy. I use a lighter value because it's not like um, sitting on top of the paper, not really exactly casting a shadow. Um, and here I erased my marks too to kind of integrate um, that sort of that little bump with the surface of the um, to-do list. In this little video, I'm um, showing what object is in front and what object is behind. So for this paper tab, I'm just kind of beefing out the edges, making them slightly darker than that sheet of paper in the background. I'm not outlining the whole paper tab. And here at the bottom, there's kind of like it's woven in and out. So now this to-do list is overlapping the paper tab. So I'm making that a darker line right there. Um, here I am doing the same. So I guess when you have lines where they get dark and then they slip, gradually become lighter, it just adds a bit of a dynamism and it just makes lines feel more kind of shimmery and just, it's more exciting to look at. Um, mechanical pencils are great for these like little tiny moments. You have a lot of control or you can render which means drawing very carefully with a mechanical pencil. So here I'm making the background different than the foreground. Um, I'm using a colored pencil. It's a light gray. Um, so I filled in that entire area with the same sort of diagonal stroke, went over that background again, going in the opposite direction. I still felt that was a little, kind of looked more like a drawing to me, so I went over the color pencil with an eraser and kind of smeared everything to make it seem a little bit more uniform in the background. Went over the tape with a white color pencil to make it stand out a bit and um, also added with a light gray marker just kind of added a drop shadow to each of the sheets of paper to give it a little bit more depth um, and this is the final drawing um, so I edited a little bit to enhance the contrast in the photo 
Um, but yeah, I hope, I hope this video helps you with value, creating textures with different materials, and that's the end. I hope you have a great one, and thanks for tuning in.